y'all welcome back to the 12 days of christmas we're nearing the end of the 12 days which is so crazy i just made a morning coffee it is around 10 45 i've actually been up well i've actually been up since like three in the morning i slept so bad i woke up randomly around three o'clock i could not go back to sleep so i just like stayed on my phone till like 5 30. then i fell asleep from like 5 30 to 7 30 and then i had to get up at 7 30 because i needed to take both of the dogs um are at the groomers right now and they had to be dropped off at eight o'clock then i came home from dropping them off laid in bed and we actually got our christmas card pictures back which i'm so excited i'm not going to share the photos till i share them on instagram and then the cards come in which will be next week so it'll be in another vlog um even though the 12 days of christmas are ending i'm still going to be vlogging throughout the month it's just not going to be a video every day but there is going to be more videos going up before christmas just so you guys know it's not going to be just like 12 days and then i'm done vlogging till the new year um, there's still like a lot of content to come. We got our Christmas card pictures back, which we took yesterday, which I did not vlog yesterday. I took the day off of vlogging. So now we are real time vlogging, you guys. I'm hoping to be able to get this video up by tonight. Fingers crossed. We have a fun, busy, like holiday themed day today. So the dogs are the groomers. And then I'm going with my friend Leslie to Franklin. There's the Christmas market today, which I'm excited to walk around. It's a gloomy, rainy day. So I'm hoping that the rain holds off so we can walk around a little bit and see like... I think it's like vendors and food and things like that around Franklin. It's like the cutest little downtown area. And then if it gets too rainy, there's a little pottery place that I've been like dying to go to. So we'll go pop into there. So we're going to spend the afternoon in Franklin, her and I. And then um, tonight, Dylan has another recruiting dinner. He's been working all weekend. And I'm going to go meet them. It's at Hall's Steakhouse, which I'm so excited about. Um, and that's at 7 o'clock tonight. So we kind of have like a fun, busy day if you will and i'm gonna bring you guys along for it so yesterday you guys did not miss a thing trust me that's why i didn't vlog i kind of took the evening off um we took christmas card pictures at two that morning i literally just worked and then got ready picked dylan up from work we drove out to brentwood took the pictures i dropped them back off at work i came here and i sat on the couch and did work until like seven o'clock made dinner and that was that so that was my day yesterday so nothing really exciting so now we are real time vlogging which is kind of fun as well but i just have a quick turnaround with editing which is fine but i wanted to start off the vlog and i want to do the free people admin calendar which i put over here finally yesterday also took the time to clean up this house i feel like i was just running around like a mad woman and the house was getting all crazy and stuff i i have this table cleared off the living room's all clean and then kitchen's clean, everything's all nice to go. I do wanna mop the floors. I got a new like mop vacuum thing in the mail that I ordered on Black Friday. So maybe we can try that out today or I was gonna do like a Sunday reset tomorrow. So we'll see if we get around to it today or not, but house is all clean, which is the best feeling. My friend's working till around 1.32 and then she's gonna drive here and then we're gonna take my car and drive to Franklin. So I have the, oh, I think the dogs are done. They're calling me. Hello, awesome. I'll be there in like 15, 20 minutes. Thank you. Bye. Okay, Winnie and we were done, which is so nice. Um, okay, all right, we need to do the ninth. Cute. Oh my God, I remember getting these when I was in like middle school and high school. I would beg my mom for these at the free people check out. You guys remember these? A bunch of studs. I wish I had more piercings because then I could add more of these, but how cute. Okay, so that was day nine for the advent calendar. I've just been leaving everything in here and then at the end of it, I'm gonna clear it out. But I've had so much fun doing this. I was so excited when they sent this in the mail. I was gonna sit on the couch and like watch YouTube and stuff. I need to blow that candle out that I just lit. I'm gonna go pick them up from the groomers. It's literally only a three second drive up the road. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna pour my coffee into a little to-go cup. I'm gonna use this cowboy coffee co cup which makes me think of Lily, which makes me miss Lily. This is my first year after two years. I'm not making it to Lily's annual <laughs> Christmas party. And I'm so sad about it. I'm gonna try to go visit her in January. It was just so busy this month with work and it just didn't end up working out. And I didn't know when she was gonna be back from Montana. Um, if you guys are new, Lily's like my best friend and she lives in Arizona. And every year she's had a Christmas party and I always vlog it for Vlogmas and it is always so fun. So I'll have to go visit her in January when the holiday craziness slows down so I can go see her. Because I haven't seen her since we went to Montana this summer, which is crazy. I started drinking that cold brew again. I had it in my fridge from Thanksgiving. I bought it when my family was in town. 
and it is so good with the sweet cream it's like the best combo if you guys don't have a fancy like espresso maker get the stock cold brew i swear it's literally just as good if not better Let's go get the sweet babies. Hopefully their haircuts are cute. Rue had a little bit of matting like underneath her ear. She always gets that because her hair gets so crazy like on her face. And then I told them just to like trim Winnie because she honestly didn't really need a haircut, but I like to keep them together. Like I like to keep their cycle in sync with her getting haircuts and shots and stuff. It just makes it easier on me to make less appointments. So they're both the groomers. I would say Rue definitely needed a haircut more than Winnie, but we'll see. I'm hoping that they both look cute. I feel like dogs always look cuter when they're scruffier. So we'll see how they look. They normally always like fluff out the top of their head and I'm like, no, 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 no. Throw on these Uggs. I have all these packages sitting here that I need to return and that I need to go drop off. Like the giveaway winter box is right there. I have a package I need to send to a friend. Returns, a hallway full of things that I need to do. <laughs> I came to get gas at Costco quick before I pick the dogs up because I'm almost on empty and we're gonna take my car into the city or out of the city, I guess, into Franklin. But I'm confused because they have this lane blocked. There's this old, older couple sitting on the side and I'm like, I hope everyone's okay. She's like bent over and he's bent over and they've been like blocking this lane off. This lady looks like she's trying to help them. I don't know what's going on at the local Costco today, but I hope that they're okay. I'm a believer in, I think waiting in line at Costco for gas is worth it, especially if you're on an empty tank. Now I have this big old car and it's obviously probably gonna be expensive to fill up. This is my first time putting gas in it actually since I bought it and I've had it for a week and a few days now. Actually, exactly a week from today I've had it and I've been driving it everywhere literally and I am still, I have 66 miles till empty still. So it holds more than I thought, but I'm like anxious to see how expensive it will be to fill up because obviously it's a way bigger car. It's like a truck, basically. The front end of my car is bigger than Dylan's, which is actually crazy. Um, but I'm getting like really good at parking it. So that's exciting. My old car was really good on gas because it was hybrid. And I think it was around like 50 to $55 to fill up. And I know this will probably be like maybe even a hundred. Dylan's truck is a diesel truck, so his truck is really expensive to fill up because obviously diesel gas is more expensive. But gas these days is just absurdly expensive anyway, so I'm like, you know what, whatever. But anyways, loving the new car. I had a few of you guys say you wanted a car tour, which I feel like I gave one when I posted about getting the car. There really isn't much more to show. I have the seats flipped down right now with blankets back here because the dogs, oh no, someone is hurt. There's a fire truck and an ambulance coming. What is going on? This old man is trying to get up and the lady's like, no, you need to sit down. Wait, I really hope that he's okay. I mean, I would go help, but there's like seven people already helping. I grabbed the dogs, they look cute. They fluffed uh, Winnie's head out. I can show you guys when I go back downstairs, Winnie looks like a poodle, it's funny. Um, I need to like wet it down, they always do that with her. I had some breakfast earlier, but I just made another breakfast sandwich as like a brunch. It's around noon now and I need to um, get ready. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna just not even put any more heat on my hair and wear it in a ponytail which I think we're gonna do. Um, just do some really light makeup. I'm having a hard time figuring out what to wear because it's literally like 65 degrees out, but also cloudy and rainy, but also Christmas. So I wanna be festive and wearing like a cute sweater or something, but I feel like you can't really do that when it's 65 degrees out. Um, but I'm not complaining. I feel like I'd rather it be like that than 
walk around in the freezing cold. A few days ago, I posted about these brushes on my Instagram story. These are the best brushes, the blending brush from Merit. I use one for like foundation, bronze or whatever, and then one for blush when I'm using cream products. And I used to be so intimidated by brushes. Like I never knew how to use a makeup brush. I know it sounds stupid, but I feel like sometimes when you're using cream products, it's hard to find like the exact perfect right brush. There's so many out there, but the way that these blend out, it is so easy and simple. I want to show you guys. And then I'm also obsessed with these um, complexion sticks from Merit. I talked about Merit. This is not sponsored by them. Um, a few, like probably like a month ago, and I am just obsessed. I have two shades. This one I use like around areas like this. I'm going to put some moisturizer on quick. Um, I have a darker one to put like around breakouts and stuff and then a lighter one for underneath my eyes but i'm just so obsessed with them so that's what i'm gonna do for makeup today i'm gonna do a little bit of moisturizer and some of this fluid sheer from giorgio armani just as like a little glowy base my mom's a flight attendant i don't know if you guys know that some of you probably might but she flies on private airlines and she's in miami and she's sending pictures of her sitting at the pool and like on the beach and like why did you not tell me that you were going to miami because i would have totally met you there because <laughs> i'm like i need the beach i need the sun there was a gal who dm'd me on instagram and told me that you're going on the charter boat that i went on this summer with a few other girls and i was like so jealous i'm like i need the sun and then i started looking back at old photos of that trip and it was just so stinking fun okay which one's darker okay this one so i'm just gonna put this like around my breakout i use it as like concealer but then also sometimes like a full-on foundation when i don't feel like wearing a skin tint or a foundation so like i'll just do the lighter one around those areas and then i literally take this brush and it just blends I used to use the beauty blender. I swore by the beauty blender. I would buy a bunch of them because I feel like they get bad quick and they're not cheap. But I feel like that was also contributing to my skin problem. <laughs> so I feel like this brush is a better option. I can clean it more and I feel like it's a little bit more of a sanitary situation. Anyways, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear. I'll show you guys what I end up with, but I just wanted to show you quick and tell you about these brushes. I'll link them and then that... Um, complexion stick like I mean when I tell you it blends so nicely it's unreal I've never had a brush that works like this it's actually crazy here's one side no foundation nothing on which I feel like is rare for me these days with my acne scarring and like active breakouts and stuff but this like I feel confident in my skin right now and I barely have anything on so 10 out of 10 I will link those products below for you guys. For an outfit, here we go, let's see. I really wanna do, I'm so obsessed with these jeans that I got from Elwood. I got them in the brown, black, and the um, denim. I feel like the denim could be cute if I can find them. My closet is a nightmare. I found the denim color, I love the wash, and then I'm thinking I could cuff it with my Uggs to be comfy, or I could even do sneakers. And then just a little white, a white tee underneath and then some type of sweater. Um, I could do this like open one from my image. I want something that's gonna cover this all the way. Well, hi Rue, I didn't even know you were in here. I didn't even see you up here, baby. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's just start with this first and then we can figure out the shirt. Here's Rue's haircut. Say hi. Say I look beautiful. I look beautiful. <laughs> All right, we ended up changing into this yellow sweater, the one that I got from Reformation. This is the medium. I feel like the medium definitely is a better size than the brown one I wore a few vlogs ago, but I'm obsessed with this sweater. And then I'm just wearing, I really like the yellow and green together, so I'm just wearing these comfy local european cargo pants that i've had for literally years and then my white sneakers and then i'm gonna do my big bag so i can wear it crossbody and then bring my vlog 
camera for you guys so i'm just waiting on leslie to come over she is driving over right now and then we're gonna head out i'm excited i wonder if there's gonna be like any um cute little gift ideas or things i'm still looking for something for dylan's grandma and like a few little knickknack things here and there to finish off some people's gifts here's mrs winnie's haircut winnie can you say hi show them how big <laughs> you're smacking her with your tail Winnie, you look beautiful. <laughs> you guys, this is so funny. We literally drove here, and on the way, Leslie's boyfriend's like, hey, you guys, there's a tornado warning. <laughs> We're like, what? All these tents are closed, I'm pretty sure because of the weather. And every, oh my God, look, kettle corn, everything's closed. Well, this ruined my Christmas But we can go into these like main shops. I think like this stuff is open and we need to find lunch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are eating. It's a tornado watch. We, Dylan just called me and said, do not leave the restaurant. <laughs> it's so bad. Come on. Hi you guys, I'm in my guest room. I feel like I never film in this room. Um, it's our front guest room, it gets really good light, but I was in here picking out a coat because I'm getting ready and our coat closet's in here and I figured I would just sit down and chat with you guys. So yesterday obviously I didn't upload a vlog, which I feel terrible about because I'm always like so on it, whether it be like Vlogmas, 12 days of Christmas, whatever it is, I'm always like so strict on myself about getting a video up. And I didn't get a video up yesterday because it was kind of a chaotic day. Um, so you guys would have seen Leslie and I, we were getting ready to go to a Christmas market in Franklin. And once we got there, I think I took a blog clip. Um, everything was starting to shut down. Like everyone was like zipping their tents up. Every like Christmas tree and all the decorations were like tilted down on the floor. And we were like, what is going on? And then Leslie's boyfriend um, messaged and was like, you guys need to be careful. There's like tornado watch out right now. And we were like, what? Like the weather looks fine. It wasn't even barely raining. It was maybe sprinkling a little bit, but the sky looked clear. Like it was the weirdest thing. The only thing was it was like randomly hot. Like the weather was hotter yesterday than normal. Like it's back to cold today, but we had no idea that there was a tornado watch out. And so they shut down the market. And then I was so hungry. I was like, we have to grab lunch. So we grabbed lunch while we were out there. And then Dylan called and he's like, you guys need to be careful coming back home. Um, Dylan was home from work and he was watching the news and apparently a tornado touched down in Germantown or like East Nashville area Which is very close to us. We are safe and we are okay. Obviously our home is okay But I just feel and it's just terrible what happened to some of these people's homes and stuff Especially during the holidays. I think six people lost their lives So it was a really serious tornado and we had like no idea the circumstance of the storm um, But on our way home when we were driving we actually like I said, we drove out to Franklin, so actually the storms were bad, like more so in the city, so we were actually safer being out there. So we kind of laid low at this restaurant for a little bit and didn't drive back into the city just to make sure we were okay and we weren't gonna be like driving through a storm. Um, but once the storm started heading, like I think it was heading up towards, I don't even know, I'm bad with counties here because we've only lived here for a little bit and I am obviously not from here, but once it started heading out of the city is when we drove home the tornado was like say up here and we were down here in franklin so nashville is like right here so once it started heading away we drove back into the city the rain and the wind was terrible driving home and then once i got home it was just pouring rain Dylan and i sat on the couch watched the updates about the news and then that was really it so i didn't put a vlog up yesterday just because it was kind of a weird chaotic day so i thought i would combine yesterday and today's and get it up tonight for you guys but we're heading back to the market today because we talked to a lady who had a tent. She was packing up. And before we even knew that there was a tornado watcher warning out, we were like, why is everyone packing up? Like we thought this place was open till five. And she was like, there's a storm coming and they're making us shut down. She was like, but definitely come back. We're going to be open tomorrow. The weather should be decent. And it's like a beautiful sunny day out. So we're going to head back today. Dylan actually gets to come with us. He doesn't have to work today. So it's going to be me, Leslie and Dylan. We're going to grab some breakfast on the way, some Chick-fil-A breakfast and head back over there it was really cute and there was a lot of tents and vendors so we definitely wanted to go back and like check it out they had like cute christmas decorations they had like food things like that so we're gonna go back this morning and then we're gonna come home and do a little sunday reset i just wanted to start off this morning and let you guys know kind of what happened in the circumstance of like 
I had a lot of you guys messaging me asking if we were safe and okay because I didn't post anything on social media yesterday for obviously the 12 days of Christmas. So some of you guys were hoping and wondering if we were okay and we are okay. We are totally fine. We're very thankful that we're okay. Um, but yeah, I just didn't get around to posting because it would have been like a five minute vlog for you guys. So I'm going to combine these two vlogs today, yesterday and today and get it up for you guys tonight. But yeah, that is kind of the situation of what went down. Um, I feel so incredibly sad for the families that lost their homes and stuff, especially during the holidays, I just can't even imagine. And then also some people who lost their loved ones, it's really scary and really crazy like what weather and storms and things like that can do to people's lives. It's really, really insane. So my prayers and thoughts are out to the people who are going through it right now. It's really such a sad, sad thing. Okay, I decided to pull out the Mrs. Claus jacket. <laughs> You guys remember when Dylan and I lived in Colorado and Dylan wore Santa suit to the bar and I wore this and we were like Mr. and Mrs. Claus. It was funny, but I'm just wearing all black underneath leggings, black sweater, and then my brown Uggs, which obviously isn't ideal, but I cannot find my light colored ones. And then I'm gonna do just this bag that matches my Uggs a little bit to tie that together. Hi, Rue. I don't have anything for you. Come here. Hi. Yeah, I got this jacket like years ago from Zara. I swear, Zara has the best trench coats. The black one I wore the other day to Christmas lights is the exact same style as this. It's just black. And I've had them for years in my closet. Like, I'll probably never get rid of them. They just fit. I don't know why I'm showing you guys here when I have a full-length mirror. This is reality of just being busy, <laughs> but ignore the mess. Here is the full fit. Leggings are Lululemon, my Ugg dupes, Zara jacket, Jenny Kane sweater. It's been like the go-to uniform these past few days. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm like, let's go to Chick-fil-A. It's full on Sunday morning. I should've known. I was like, are they renovating? Hi, can I please get a large, hot, caramel brulee oh, latte? Okay. Uh, grande, please. All right, I just wanna make sure. No, sorry. And yes, that's perfect. And then can I also get a sausage, cheddar, and egg sandwich? Thank you, and that'll be it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what's up, gone. I just got a black coffee. Yeah, Starbucks is good. Well, not have a bite. That's what I Ooh, oh, can't even see him. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, go. here we go. Okay. All right. You want me to record it? No, you're fine. Okay, everyone try this flavor first. Here, I can set my camera right here. Are you ready? Oh, you just decided to eat on your own. <laughs> Oh, yum. That's so good. Trust me, like he's Santa. Hey, wait, you getting some more? Hi, baby. <laughs> Weenie, show them your haircut. You look so beautiful. You look so beautiful. Hi, I missed you. Why is there such a big dog? Rue, there were so many dogs at the festival, we should have brought you. We should have brought even Winnie with us. But it was so cold outside, you would have been so cold. Back home, Dylan just went upstairs. He's gonna go outside and do some yard work. Our grass needs to be cut. Even though it's like dying, I don't know why he keeps cutting it. It's weird. <laughs> But I just turned this fire on for a second to warm up and then I'm going to get into some cleaning and then I need to run to the grocery store. I think we're gonna do chicken Caesar salads tonight for dinner. So we need to go get ingredients for that. <laughs> Your haircut is so pretty. And you look so pretty, Winnie. I need to bring the box over here and unbox it, but I got a new mop slash vacuum type of thing on Black Friday, it was on sale and I've been wanting it for a while. My friend, uh, Romeo, she told me about it. And she's like, you have to get this vacuum. It like will change your life, especially with dogs and stuff. So it vacuums and mops the floor. Vacuums and mops the floor like at the same time. So I'm excited to use it. So I'm gonna do that today. I've been wanting to take it out of the box. It's been sitting at our front door for a few days. So I need to get on that. Just tidy up the house, finish up some laundry, just like the normal Sunday things. So 
We're just chilling for a second because we just got home, but the festival was so fun. There were so many kids, so many dogs. Mm -hmm. We got Dylan's parents a really fun painting um, from this vendor. It's like really cool. And then we just got a lot of really good food. We had the best cinnamon sugar donuts, like these mini donuts. They were um, hot and they were so good. And then I had the best pretzel um, and then a bratwurst. It was so good. <laughs> Okay, so I just got this mop. I will link the exact one. I got it like over $100 off on Black Friday. It's called the Tinico. I got the Floor One S3, I believe. <laughs> I don't know the difference. There's probably multiple, but I'm really excited about it because it vacuums the floor and mops. It's cordless. You just put the solution in here and then it also like auto cleans itself. I've heard so many good things about this. I just did a few swipes through to see how it works. And then it literally shows you here I'll show you guys when I plug it in, but it literally shows you, um, let's see, I have to turn it on, once it's on, literally just starts to go, shows you like the battery percentage, my friend Romeo, like I said, told me about it, and she's like, you need this. I just did the whole downstairs with this and I'm obsessed with it. This would be a perfect gift to splurge on for yourself or someone. So I'll link it below. It's charging right now. I just ran the battery almost down, but it self cleans, which is the best part. Cause it's like the worst part about cleaning a mop or something like this is keeping it clean. So you literally just click this button up here and it self cleans for itself and you just empty out the water tank. So I have it charging. I'm going to do the upstairs, but I'm so excited about it. I feel like my, my floors and everything just look so clean. And also if there's anything on the floor while you're vacuuming, I just rolled these rugs back out because the floors are dry. It vacuums it up. So it vacuums while it also is mopping. And I feel like my floors have not looked this clean since we moved in. It really is so, so good. I have the simmer pot on. I just turned it down to like really low. The house smells so good. I'm about to go fluff and vacuum up the couch. Spotless, kitchen's clean, living room's clean, front entryway's clear. Let me show you guys. Hi, baby. Minus my shoes I'm about to go put on because we're going to go to Publix. This I need to find, I need to put it in a closet, but 
None of our closets have extension cords in it, so I don't know where I'm gonna store this, but this will be gone, and then finally everything is cleared, which is a very good feeling. I did leave out this wrapping because I'm probably gonna finish wrapping up some gifts. I have some more stuff coming in the mail tomorrow, like jammies and stuff for the family. And then, babe, we're not going anywhere. I'm so sorry. You're not going anywhere. And I just fluffed the couch. It looks so nice. We've been loving the couch. And then when the tree goes, we're gonna put the other chair here. I think it'll look really nice. And then we'll put, we'll probably put the olive tree here. It used to be in this corner, but since we'll have a chair here, I think we'll leave this empty. I jinxed myself because last week I was like, I haven't felt under the weather yet. And now I'm starting to feel a little bit of like, scratchiness i don't know if it's like an ear infection coming on or maybe just like a cold or something but i'm gonna put i swear by this brand i use their throat spray I actually worked with them over on um instagram this is not sponsored i truly love the brand so this is the honey flavor and i swear by these things and i also swear immunity spray it's a throat spray it's so good and it's safe for kids too so if you do four sprays a day i already did my daily four so I can't do any more, so I'm gonna suck on this. We're gonna head to the grocery store, get some stuff for dinner, and maybe the car wash if it's still open. I can't remember what time that they close on Sunday. All right, our first car wash in the new car. I'm scared. <laughs> One time, Dylan, want to hear the funniest story? Aaron and I came through this car wash in my old car, and I couldn't figure out how to get the sensors to turn off, and they were just. <laughs> And I was scared that one of these crazy things was gonna break like, off. The break off. <laughs> and Aaron like didn't know how to help me either. So shocker. <laughs> That's good. I mean, we can also just get this regular breadcrumbs in there. Did you get them? <laughs> Dawn and I just went to Publix to grab dinner. We were gonna make chicken Caesar salad, but then we decided on making meatballs, homemade meatballs and spaghetti. So we both were hungry, so we bought a few snacks. No, the best. Oh. I didn't even know that these existed, but this is my favorite trip, Chip. Cool Ranch Doritos. <sighs> This girl staring at us. It's like when you're at the bottom of the chip bag and you're getting all the crumbs. Yeah, that's great. Did you just not let me go? <laughs> Here. Okay. All right, Dylan made us dinner and I'm doing the taste test. We made homemade meatballs and spaghetti. All right, pasta. So good. This is my reaction to your dinner that you cooked. <laughs> Are you nervous? Dylan was making the meatballs and they looked, the, the mixture looked a little runny, so something looked a little off, and he, I could tell you were stressed out. <laughs> They're really good. Really? Have you tried one? Sorry, I forgot you don't know how to multitask when you're on your phone. You literally don't respond to me when I'm talking. Sorry, well, North Coast days. I think the best way to make a homemade meatball is searing it on the pan and then finishing it in the oven, because then you get that crispy outside. Yeah. But I agree, I mean, it's pretty solid. Thanks for cooking. Cool. I made the best part of dinner. I make this all the time. You like heavily feature in me? The mm -hmm. 10th? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, this is the kind of dry shampoo that I like. It is powder. I'm not gonna lie, I think the meatballs are good. <gasps> I show that all over the rest of my food. <laughs> and it's, look at my sweater. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Lavender dry shampoo. Karma. It smells really good. Dang it, I wanted that pasta. Do you think it's on there? Absolutely. Yeah, I can see it. Probably got it on mine too. <laughs> that was my karma for doing it at the dinner table. Is that what you said? <laughs> oh, we gotta get the CO2. Yeah, I know. I have something in my eye. Can you help me? <laughs> Wait, I think you got it. Okay. Did I get it? God, when you have something in your eye, it's like the most aggravating thing. Did I get it? I don't know, it's still burning. I think I have mascara all over my face. My eye is just like hurting. It's so red. We're doing a take two of the whipped cream because I really want to do 
cut up sharp. What? Uh, do you hear this? It's because I have a simmer thing on. Turn it off. So I have a simmer pot on. All right, so I have fresh strawberries from Publix. Why is it making that noise? Is it just cooling down? It might be, I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I look like the little kid with right. my jammies all the way buttoned up. Shut yes, you guys said that we need to, once we put it in and it makes that noise, you have to aggressively shake it for like 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, now, but make sure that's on. I'm scared. Why? Wait, I gotta get my strawberries ready. <laughs> okay, watch out. Publix right now has the best strawberries, and I don't even think that they're in season, but look at those. They just look so good. I mean, I'm aggressively <laughs> shaking the shit out of this. I really hope it works. Let me know when you're ready. I'm not ready. I gotta cut my strawberries a little bit. All right. Okay, full of strawberries. Just Wait, should we not do it over my strawberries in case it'll just be cream, I guess. Is it working? Nope. Wait, don't waste it all. Why is it not coming out? I put a lot. Okay, there, it's working. I'm gonna put it in the fridge because this will last now for a little. Yeah. Until you open it, I think. All right, whipped cream is a success and it actually tastes so good. I did, I did heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla. I feel like I probably could have done a little more heavy whipping cream. Let me know what I need to change and why mine looks like cottage cheese, but. It's so good. I've been dreaming of this fresh whipped cream since I bought this thing. Dylan. Yeah. Try this, it's so good. I'm like, try this, try this, try this, try this. Pretty dog. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babe, it's freezing out. You need to stop going outside with those shoes on. Cleaned up the kitchen from dinner and dessert. And now I'm folding laundry. I swear it's never ending, you guys. It's my least favorite task in the house. I don't know what it is about doing it. I just hate doing it. I think it's because there's so many steps and you have to put it away. Whereas like, if you have to do the dishes, it's just quicker. I don't know, but I'm gonna chill downstairs. I think that there's a game on tonight. The Eagles are playing someone right now, I think. And you guys are watching this in real time. If you're watching this, like as I uploaded it, um, it's currently Sunday night as I'm filming this. So I will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early on Monday. There's two days left of the 12 days of vlogs, which is crazy. And I'm sad that I didn't get a video up yesterday, but hopefully this vlog was longer for you guys and you enjoyed it. Um, we had a really fun day going to the market and stuff. It was nice that Dylan had off of work and we got to spend literally the whole day together. I feel like that doesn't really happen normally on Sundays. He normally has either work during the season or recruits in town. So it was really nice to get to spend time with him. Folding some clothes, gonna head downstairs, but I just wanted to end off the video. I love you guys. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog on day 11. Bye y'all.